Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a writer here at Crutchfield, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Andover Audio Model 1 turntable system. It's an all-in-one system with a turntable, built-in powered speakers, and there's even Bluetooth so you can do some streaming. The built-in turntable is a Project Debut Carbon Esprit SB. It features an 8.6 inch carbon fiber tone arm with a pre-installed Ortofon 2M silver cartridge. The turntable features a low resonance acrylic platter with a felt mat on top, and it can play records at 33 and a third, 45 or 78 revolutions per minute. And for those of you who like to set up your turntable precisely, there is an alignment protractor included, which is kind of a cool feature. So since the turntable is integrated into the base, you don't have to worry about amplification. There's 150 watts of Class D amplification built in, which is very efficient. Built into the base are four three and a half inch aluminum cone woofers and two air motion transformer tweeters. That combination of the aluminum woofer and the AMT tweeter is one of my favorite sounds for listening to records. Now turntables with built-in speakers have been kind of uh, something that you could get on the cheap for a while, and as such, we really didn't recommend them, but this is something entirely different. The engineers at Andover Audio have come up with something they call isogroove technology. I don't know what it is, but I do know what it does. It keeps any vibrations from the speakers and the amplifier from getting into your turntable and causing a rumble or any kind of noise. We set this system up and listened to it in our vendor training room, and we can attest that no noise gets back into the turntable. It sounds great when you're listening to records. The knob on the front of the Model 1 turns on an intuitive graphic interface that allows you to do your source selection, change your volume, and even choose from one of three preset modes for the speakers. There's a mono, a stereo, and a panoramic setting, and you can choose any of those from the panel on the front. And as much as I like using that front panel knob, there is also a remote control included that features not only all of the buttons that you could possibly need, but it has that same walnut and brushed steel look so that it matches the Model 1 perfectly. Being able to play records through the turntable is just the beginning of what you can do with this Model 1 system. There are a lot of connections on the back so that you can use your other components and basically use this as the center of your sound system. For analog sources, there's a stereo RCA input and also a 3.5 millimeter analog input. There's also an optical digital and a coaxial digital input in case you want to connect a CD player or even your television. And if you have high resolution files on your computer that you'd like to listen to through the speaker system here, there is a mini type B USB input on the back as well. If you want to use the Model 1 as a source for your existing system, there is also an RCA line output. And if you want to use a subwoofer, there's a mono RCA output on the back as well. There is also a type A USB port on the back, but that's just for powering your device. And you can't always listen out loud when you want to, so there's a quarter inch headphone jack on the front panel as well. You can use the Model 1 separately the way you see it here, but there are also other parts of the system that you can buy separately. You can set this on the Model 1 upper stand, which has storage space for 100 LPs plus a drawer for your additional accessories. And then that upper stand can either set on top of the Model 1 subwoofer, using that as a base, or you can, if you just need more record storage, you can use the lower base, which has room for another 100 LPs. Worth noting, if you are going to use the subwoofer as a base, you do need to remove the tempered glass top first. Now, as I mentioned before, sometimes we've been a bit leery of the idea of combining powered speakers with a turntable in this way. So we felt it was necessary to set this up and listen to it ourselves so we could give you a true recommendation. We did set this up in our vendor training room and invite in anyone who was in the building to listen. And everyone was impressed with the way it filled the room. And there was simply no noise being transmitted from these speakers back into the turntable. If you have any other questions about the Model 1 turntable system, get in touch with us here at Crutchfield. Thanks for watching.